Hello everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I just wanted to show you a quick way to download data using the CCXT Python package found open source free on GitHub. Um, so this is a really good article here at backtest-rookies.com. For those on the podcast, just go to that website again, backtest-rookies.com. Title of the article is Download Cryptocurrency with CCXT. So in here, I'll talk about CCXT and the requirements, um, specifically for Python. Um, in my case, you can install the um, library here. Or, uh, as it says here, I'm using Python 3.6. recommend you do the same. You can either use pip or pip3, as explained here, with pip install CCXT. Very simple. Uh, from there, once you get all that working, the next uh, step is to actually copy and paste all this code here in, uh, into a uh, file. I'll show you that in a minute, how to do it. Um, so the name of the file you're going to use is called ccxt underscore market underscore data dot py, and you just run it. So let me just show you what I've got here. <clears throat> so what I've got here is I've got um, the file that we just highlighted. Uh, I'll just edit it in, a, in one sec here. Okay, so here it is using Sublime. And <clears throat> this is the file. So we're gonna run it on the console, on the terminal using uh, various arguments. So as it explains in the video here, you are able to do this. Python, in my case, I'm gonna do Python 3, name of the Python file here. Uh, and the symbols. So in this case, we're using uh, Neo with Ethereum and the exchange. In this case, it's Bitrex uh, and the time frame. Okay. So what I've done here is it will create a file. Uh, in my case, I am using Binance Neo Ethereum one day. So I'm going to run this one. Um, actually, a better example would be to run the parameters. So, again, I'm using Python 3. As I said here, I'm using 3.64. So, that's the interpreter uh, I'm using for Python. In my case, I'm going to just do Python 3. Um, I've shown you how to set up Python. It's pretty straightforward. Um, and then we're going to do CCXT Python that file, ccxt underscore market underscore data dot python or py dot py, and then the parameters. Actually, let me just put these in. Neo, Ethereum, as such, uh, we are using Bitrex, the exchange, uh, time frame of 12 hours. So let's see if this creates anything available. Oh, okay, well, let's try one hour. All right, so there we go. So these are the time frames. So I put in one hour instead, and we should now. Okay, so we've got two files here. So I show you the one I just created using Sublime again, Bit Rex. So here's the data for hourly. Um, now I believe this is open, high, low, close, volume, and this will be the the system. Uh, exchange time frame in Unix time. Uh, so we've got how many art, uh, lines have we downloaded? Okay, so we've got <clears throat> uh, 1400. Uh, let me just see how the other one looks. So we'll look at the other file, data file of the Binance of Neo Ethereum. So there we go. We've got it was 1400. So in this case, we're doing daily. So in the last 231 days. So this little uh, Python file is great uh, for those that are new to all this because I've been noticing I've been getting, for some reason, dislikes. So hopefully this will get more likes and less dislikes with a complete history using this uh, entire file here. This, this will make life a lot easier to install and show you a really good example of how to get uh, crypto data um, market data from either exchange a uh, bitrex or binance using this script with easy to install python with uh this ccxt package all right we'll talk to you soon okay have a good day see ya